Hey everybody, welcome to this week's BTM Behind the Movies. Normally I do this segment on a Monday, but uh, pretty tired after an incredible weekend with Search for Hawiki, which was incredible. Andrew and I both had a great time on that. I want to address something that's happened this week. On Sunday while I was on set and I was up to my neck in work, got a message from an extremely good friend of mine, can I step in? and provide some background extra work for a production. Of course I'm going to say yes. Anyway, I said, yeah, 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 that's cool, but I was really, really busy. And um, suddenly thought, oh, hang on, I'll uh, call her on Monday and uh, a message here and say, look, you know, just go through my agent, because it's a main production, a main production being shot at the moment. And um, I always go through my agent. I said to my friend, who's not a third AD, she's an extremely beautiful person, who's been thrown in the deep end. I say, oh look, that's cool, just go through my agent and that'll be fine. I get a message back and she says, oh, I'm really not sure, the, we're really busy today. We've got four people away with COVID and we're first day of shooting and my producer just says, contact your agent yourself. So I replied, you know, hey, look, that's not the way it's done. I know she's new. So I'm thinking, well, hang on, she's been misguided here. So I said, look, you know, we, as performers, whether we're at the extra level or the close-up feature level, we're still doing our job. So I replied to her, look, you know, uh, yeah, nah, that does not how it happens. This is how it's going to be, blah, 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 blah. Um, I then got a reply saying, the producer has told me that you don't need extra agents unless the extras say two lines. This infuriated me because this has been going on too long in our industry. Sure, in small indie films, you negotiate with your directors because they're normally very good friends. You get a little kai, you get a little koha. In mainstream productions, when you've got a whole team working for you, there's a system that we use. And people go, oh, but agents take a fee. Agents are assholes. My agent is the best agent in the world. You've obviously got the wrong agent if you think that they're assholes because they are the legal backing for when it all turns to shit. At this point, the producer realizes the person that they're talking about is me. And I know the producer personally, and I've messaged the producer and said, hey, what are you doing? This is a bit weird, what's going on, blah, 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 blah. And, you know, it turned to custard. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, because I don't wanna be dragged across the legal grounds on, on defamatory stuff. This producer's a really good producer. The company's a really good company. They just are trying to save money. So yeah, take it easy this week. Good luck and just be mindful of the industry and how it works. And don't be sucked in by the allure. Oh, what did they say in the email? It's not about money. We'll get your face on the screen. Friday morning for us here. It's a, it's a weight day, not as in weights, as in muscles, but weight as in standby, something's about to happen. We uh, have a festival that we're semi in at the moment, which we really would like a result in. A great competition based in New York. This morning at about two o'clock, we got a, uh, a message from them to say, hey, winners are gonna be posted on their, on their list today. Their lists haven't been updated yet, so, you know. Strangely enough, the better things are going, the more waiting you have to do. So, I've got me a scratchy, got me the guitar, got me some work to do, some script work to do. Trying to keep motivated while you're waiting for results. And as the quote goes, I forget the name of the actress, senior actress, but we, uh, we get paid to wait and the acting we do for free. So I guess it's the same with production. We get paid to wait, or oh, we don't get paid. We don't get paid to wait, and the filming we do for free. That doesn't quite work, does it? Anyway, um, picking up Andrew tonight, and we'll have this on Sunday ready to go. So here we are. One of the most important parts of any film company is our kitchen area, nothing in the cup. Can't run without uh, without caffeine, so uh, we start here with the coffee machine. 
And obviously Andrew hasn't graduated to coffee yet. He's on the hot chocolates, that's cool. And um, lattes for us grown-ups. All right, oh cool. It's just a nice little unit that we got at the Whitey Fuddy. Um, just be nice to have hot drinks out here to have going to the kitchen. What didn't we do? Nice Ladies and gentlemen, the first hot chocolate of Morgan movies. Look at that. Right, let's see how it tastes. Morgan movies cafe. Oh, mine's hot. That's nice. That's good. Yeah. That's good, eh? Mine's hot. Now we can literally say, if you're having a bad day, come up and see us. We've got coffee and hot chocolate. You're welcome. Come and join us for a hot drink. Anytime. Unless I'm asleep, then you have to wake up Andrew. <laughs> so that's going to do it for us this week. Unfortunately, we did not get a positive result back from that New York festival. Oh well, we ended up being a semi-finalist in that. It's pretty far anyway. Uh, but if you enjoyed this video, and you enjoyed seeing the coffee machine and all that, make sure to leave a like, leave a comment, uh, and subscribe. Um, and if you want to support us even further, you can check out our Patreon at the link in the description below. And aside from that, I uh, hope you have a good week, and we'll see you later. Bye!